a keylogger, for example, in the XP, then you're there. So it could be a nice uh, attack factor, but uh, I've mentioned this, this to Microsoft, and I hope they will uh, pick up this one as well. So what are the files of interest? Um, VHD, of course. The VMC, that's the configuration file, tells you more about which disks are in the machine, um, the network, uh, the safe state file, you can compare it with a snapshot of a uh, VMware file, and the VH, VUD, the undo disk, a kind of restore function. And the default location you see on the, on the bottom of my slide, that's mostly where it's situated. You can read it also in my paper as well. So how do you know if a VHD is, uh, is, has been used? Is it enabled? And you have to investigate the VMC file. And you will see that um, there's some code there, 18563103399. Well, I've noticed that, okay, 2010 is the year, but the rest of the code, well, I'm simply not uh, know what it actually means. It has something to do with the date and time, but I've, uh, I've asked Microsoft about it, what does it mean? Because every time you generate a VHD file, it gives you this kind of type of code, but I can't explain yet. So that's what one of the things I'm working at, but I'm not uh, completely aware of it. So if anyone knows the answer for me today, I would be very, very happy. So a little summary of my talk. Um, yeah, virtualized environments can make forensic research a really tough job. A virtualization of host applications and places, it will scatter the evidence. And on purposely, I mentioned only the word cloud once in my talk. But you can imagine if we're talking about the cloud, and I use the example from uh, the child porn spreading about different platforms, for example, uh, Azure or from uh, Amazon, you really have a challenge. And to understand every time the rapidly changing technique is difficult, especially for law enforcement, because we have so many cases. You don't have one case at a time, normally six or seven. And every time you have to go to an, a new location and to acquire data, now you're faced with another kind of challenge. Then it's VMware, but how is it configured? Where, so it's quite a challenge. And actually, I, I think for myself, it's very difficult to cope with this. For every time, uh, investigate, uh, put time in it to research it. How does it work? Can I reconstruct? That's, that's a lot of your, for taking time from your investigation because you have to explain it in court as well. So for the future, I really believe we need more research uh, on VM. Uh, there was one of the guys, uh, I forgot his name, but uh, maybe he's seen it here in the audience as well. Uh, he wrote me about, uh, my, um, about his uh, presentation and he said, well, Keep on, spread this word, because I think uh, we really underestimate this in our research, and we need to publish about it. And we really uh, need uh, forensic proof tools for our research. Without tools, we, we, we can't cope with this. And well, this was my uh, slide in Barcelona. Would it be a nice next topic for Black Hat? And well, a few weeks ago, they called me just like, hey, would you like to speak on uh, in Las Vegas? And I said, yes, of course, <laughs> just to spread a word. And what I mentioned before, um, the books I've seen now about uh, forensic uh, research and virtualiza virtualization environments, they're good. They're a good start. But I think we really, really need a book about which tools can we use, how to investigate. So, well, actually, I'm trying to write one, but if someone is interested to help me out, well, it would be great. So I will now reserve some time for uh, questions and have a, just a water. So a lot of the um, materials or the tools that we saw here apply to some of the most common VM vendors, VMware some of the things on Windows 7. Uh, what can you share about some of the other players that are coming in, like such as Citrix, uh, Send Server? Uh, well, actually, um, when you look at um, for tools for investigating, uh, well, actually VMware, they have some tools, but they're not, not focused on research, or, or like this one. 
they're not focused on that one. So a lot of the tools you see is actually written by yeah, just guys like working in the law enforcement or facing the problem and they write, it, write them by themselves. So there was a question over there, I think. Christian. Christian, have you had anybody challenge the forensic validity of an image that's been brought up in a machine other than the one that was uh, created on? Well, actually, um, I've heard a case about in the Netherlands that the judge said, like, um, okay, it's a copy of a virtual machine, just like you mentioned uh, earlier before. It is copied, so I accept it as an evidence, but it was not uh, right protected copied. So uh, when I think we also have to yeah, show it to the judge, for example, uh, yeah, how how it's how you can prove or that it's really evidence, but yeah, it's difficult to prove with the current tools. It's really difficult. For for me, uh, I work the most with yeah the checksums. That's the thing I have, and the thing I have to use, and, and to have to wait uh, till there's better. How about the use of uh, snapshots? in case of forensic investigations? First question. And second question, uh, does it make sense to make snapshots instead of a DD image, for example? Um, it depends on your case. Um, for example, if you have snapshots, I, can, I use them for reconstruction. But if you have, for example, a DD, what you're mentioning, uh, you can open it in live view, and then you can make snapshots, for example, to uh, investigate the OS. But to, be, to, to say, for, okay, which, which is best? Yeah, it depends on your, on your research, on your case. And for evidence at the court? For evidence at the court? Yeah. Um, it's really important that you can explain what a DD is or what a snapshot is. If you can explain that one and the difference, and you can say why you used it, then it's okay. Check, check some yeah, yeah, we check some of that, yeah. You mentioned that the system backup format was VHD. Does that also apply to the volume shadow copies? Um, I'm not sure about that one. Not sure. Anyone else? Questions? I'll just speak loud. If, you, if somebody deleted a DMDK or a VMAP file, do they have decent signatures you can give R for them? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Yeah, if you have, uh, not the but the other one uh, which I mentioned, you can actually uh, make a custom signature and get them out. Some more questions. Okay, well, then I would like to thank you for uh, being here. Uh, if you want some more information, or, well, this is my, uh, my email address. I'm on Twitter, and I also have my own uh, blog, so it would be nice to, uh, to have a word for you. Okay. Cheers.